What up, ninjas? Gage here again with another review of Fall Cybertron Shockwave. What up? That guy. This guy. Yes! Fall of Cybertron Generations figures. New Generations figures for all of you wonderful Transformer lovers out there. Now, um, he is a uh, weaponized transport, I believe. And he turns into a spaceship. Now, what I want to do is I actually kind of just want to, like, fashion a plug somewhere or extend this one right there. And he'll be a gun. He'll just be a big gun. So he'll kind of, like, hold his uh, his uh, original style of what kind of a robot he is. And there's the front. You can kind of see. And it's really nice. I mean, like, the, the vehicle here is actually really cool, and I like it. And the transformation's not too bad either. It's a little tricky to get it into vehicle mode the first time, but after that, you're, it's pretty good. You just gotta, just gotta fiddle with it a little bit. Now, I originally wanted to pre-order these guys, but by the time I had the money to pre-order them, they were just in the store, so I bought them and I got them up. And there's not a lot of people doing a crap load of reviews out there, so I decided to get the reviews out and done so people can watch my stuff. Now we gotta transform them. So I believe you just start f moving his uh, fins up. You kind of move these pieces forward like so and then I believe you can separate the front part here Oop, that fell off but no big deal no biggie oh yeah and flip that up too so you're just kinda like peeling them apart right now this is like a really neat little gun um, you can see it has like little gun barrels on it and then you can uh, add on his uh, blaster like so and then it looks even more badass. Set that aside for now and let's get on to the robot. So basically he got his legs done already just like that no big deal. Kinda scrawny but they don't bother me that much because this figure is slightly misproportionate and I'm pretty sure it has to do with like how the video game is or whatever how the video game is at all. Yeah so Got that. This is, is kind of like sitting funny. Probably because of that giant backpack. Anyway, so we got him like that, and basically what you do is you go up here with his arms and separate him, turn him, straighten him out, and then his fists will be hidden in there. I like us. Let's see if we can get this other one out, like that. Alright, what you do is you pop his head down, or pop his body down, and what it'll do is it'll pop his head up like that. And you just kind of plug his shoulders in, move his arms down, arrange his arms however you see fit. Um, it has a double elbow joint there, so you can kind of get some pretty good poses up and just get his wings up. Stand him up, and he's ready to rock. And we will adjust a camera. Adjust a camera. And there he is. Shockwave! Generation Shockwave from the Fall of Cybertron game. Um, or the Fall of Cybertron line, if you will. Um, I'm pretty sure the line is the game. Game is the line. These guys are going to probably look identical to each other. And as you can tell, he's got a pink or purplish eyeball. Kind of like a really nice one. And that is really cool because. If you get a light in there, it'll really just kind of just, just blow up. His uh, little eyeball will explode full of light and enjoyment and awesomeness. Uh-oh. People were trying to call. But anyway, so we got the, uh, the shock wave. Very nice. Oh, and the cool thing about these deluxes is they do have... Uh, uh, faction signs on them. So there's a faction sign. He's a Decepticon, obviously, because he's all freaking purple and such, and you can make him hold his weapon. So you just peg it in. And... Oop, there we go. I like so. Very nice. And it's basically he's got all this nice light piping, so he does have some clear plastic pieces that kind of just pop a lot more. 
But all in all, he's a really cool character, and I do like him. Um, I know a lot of people have been saying that his you know body is super disproportionate. He's all like this really sporty, scraggly looking robot, but I actually really like him like this. He looks really cool, and if he had a vehicle mode, I guess it, he really does pull off a good vehicle mode, other than the fact that he turns into a gun. And that's pretty much the only thing he's ever really turned into, unless you can consider Shock Blast and animated and then they turn into like some random garbage but this has been a review from Gajo of Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Shockwave and Fall of Cybertron Shockwave is awesome we'll get you close-ups at the end obviously and this is Shockwave saying peace out bitches